everybody, Claudia here with Healthy Preparedness. In this video, I wanna show you how I add diatomaceous earth to my bucket of grains that I'll be storing. Um, I spoke about diatomaceous earth in one of my other videos. You can go um, watch that to learn more about what diatomaceous earth is um, and why I use it in my grains um, that I'm storing in my food storage instead of using oxygen packets. But just to summarize, I use diatomaceous earth instead of oxygen packets because oxygen packets pose the risk of killing the grains, therefore they will not be sproutable anymore. And I want all of my grains as much as possible to be sproutable because that not only increases the nutrition, but it um, increases the bioavailability of the nutrition um, in the sprouted foods. And um, it's just easier to digest. Um, it's, it's almost like having an indoor garden um, in our home. So uh, sprouting to me is super important. So. Um, let me show you what I do. So basically, I just add about three tablespoons, four tablespoons of the diatomaceous earth every fourth of the way. So um, let me just show you how I do it right now. This is just white wheat. So I filled it up about a quarter of the way and I'm just gonna sprinkle maybe about three tablespoons on top, and I'm gonna fill it up some more. And I'm halfway, almost halfway full. The bucket's almost halfway full with the wheat. So I'm gonna add some more. Okay, so there you have it. I added my diatomaceous earth to my grains. I'm gonna place the lid on top and it, I'm gonna store it away and it'll be good for years and years. The diatomaceous earth doesn't affect the way the grains taste. You just grind it up along with everything else. Diatomaceous earth is really, um, just really healthy and good for us. So like I mentioned in, my, in the diatomaceous earth video, you wanna make sure that you, that you get food grade diatomaceous earth and um, and there are some concerns about adding diatomaceous earth to grains and wearing a mask because if you breathe in a lot of the diatomaceous earth, it can kind of cake up in your lungs. So that's just a bit of caution for you. Um, maybe you might want to do that. Obviously, I don't find it that big of a deal. There wasn't a lot of powder. There wasn't a big mess. Um, so I chose not to do that. One other way that people uh, add diatomaceous earth to their grains is they fill up the bucket halfway and then they pour a cup of the diatomaceous earth on top, and then they add grains the rest of the way and they close up the lid. So this keeps um, the weevils away. It kills any weevils that do come in contact with it um, so they don't begin to breed and take over your grains. It also helps with reducing moisture in the grains. So it's just a great way to preserve your grains. Um, thanks for watching this video. I'll have more videos coming soon. See you next time.